Hello everyone, welcome to another LA Noir video. We are still at the station, or rather outside the station. And uh, we'll see what we have today. Next part of the mission, and we'll take one of these police cars. Because don't want to drive the other freaking nut jobs car anymore. Shit. Ah, it didn't crash. Cutscene. Saved by the bell. So that's the house that uh, was in that picture. And well, the door is open, so I guess we better get the guns out. Doesn't look like there's gonna be any shooting being done here, but. Might be wrong. This place stinks of petroleum. Ab gas, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> around the floor well that means someone is planning to set it on fire surely should we be in here well I guess the mission brought is here so we must be is there actually anything oh what's that Angstrom is flying today on TWA. Angstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Maybe he's cleaning up. Was planning to come home, but that's the passport there, so obviously he wasn't planning to go straight to the flight, whatever the hell he was doing. Is that an exact replica of the old passports, by the way? Oscar Angstrom, Andrew Angstrom, uh, Children Daniel Angstrom, okay. Six foot two, nice. Black hair, brown eyes, Nevada, Missouri. Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. Interesting. Well, there we go. That's why it was petrol all over the floor. I'm pretty sure I missed that shot, but okay. It's a bit smoky now. Picture, can we check the frame? No, I guess the only mission is get out. Uh, and there it is, the nut job. Hey, your car was at the station, motherfucker. Pursue Vernon Mapes, yeah. Car chase again. Where the fuck did he go? Shit. We're not off to a great start. That's right. You should probably move out the way. There he is. Got my eyes on you. Ah, shit. Damn, those things are hard to bloody stop the car. Freaking metal from the gate in it. Oi! There you go. It's a bit narrow. Why, well, stacking us to the uh, explosion scene? Really? I like it. Oh, they have company? Well, they had company. That's the military police vehicles. Oh, there's another one. Keep shooting, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Kaput. Whoa, whoa. 
Ouch. Uh, shortcut. Rather cutting the corner <laughs> rather than shortcut. I see. He's going to hide in there. Great. Nice parking. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. Oh, I'm always ready, are you? Wow, great, great. Stop. One down. Not one down. Oh, we got a trophy. Out of the frying pan. Okay. Come on. Stay down. Terrible shooting. Okay, got him. There's more arriving. Let me take cover behind the car. Hey, my hat! Oh my god, it's so bad! Terrible shooting. I got someone behind it. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck's sake, auto aim. And you got a shotgun as well. I think I got lucky there. I mean, got unlucky with the game, got lucky. Weedy guy. There's still quite a few around. Oh, you're right here. Not anymore, you're not. How long do you think you can hold out? Pick out that guy's got a fucking Thompson or whatever. Are well, you dead? Come on, stick your head out. There. Okay. Stay in cover. Finally. He wants to play cat and mouse? Fine. Let's go and get his ass. Okay, so right, we're gonna have to go in there then. Ah, Rumble. Where's the secretary? Where's, where's she gone? Get in cover. Okay, so we've got one in the plane. And this fucker down here. Can't really get tangled on him. Can I get the stupid guy in the plane? I got you. What the hell is he? I mean, there's this guy here that just can't freaking hit him. Get cover. Get in cover now. I can throw down your gun if you like. I'm still gonna ice you. Oh, he's gone. I'm covering you. Terrible. Can we get a headshot? Well, that will do. Pigs is shooting on there, but I don't see anybody. Oh, there's a guy up there. Too far. Can't hit that red thing either. Gotta move. Oh shit! Bit of a party going on in here. Okay, he's dead. Cover. Recover health. Well, that one is gone. Long lost. Get that guy. Okay. I got you. Still there, really? I don't think he's dead anymore. Ooh, 
up there. Take cover next, two bags. Yeah, we're too far for that one. Not that one though, I don't think. Well, let's get a bit closer anyway. Still a guy at the bottom, isn't there? Can we hit him? I think we're still too far. We've got some cover here, hopefully. Still seems quite far away. There's this guy down there though. He keeps uh, playing peekaboo. There you go, dead. Blood splattered all over the place. Let's get a bit closer. Not sure this is close enough for that one. Okay, you're covering me? Fine, I'll uh, go here. Yeah! We can get a bit closer. But I shall do it from here, surely. There we go. That took us uh, long enough. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and Half the city exploding. Might just have made the case of the decade. Yeah, we still get our ass fired though, probably. Way trophy! Gold trophy! The big and friendly. So we got four out of six questions. We missed a clue. Not bad damage. Approving he knew the intrigues of his own plant would have made the case against Nicholson. Yeah, well, we fucked up there on the questions as usual, so. It is what it is. Let's go straight into the next mission. Good morning, Doctor. Ooh. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. Guess that shit doesn't want to go there. Feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. <laughs> it's making him stronger, and it's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> Joker smile. We're both finding we have a lot to give up. And what is that? In my case, you he went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. <laughs> I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. <laughs> he has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think
think I'll hmm. close the window. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Louvre to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. Really? I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. Uh-oh. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. Ooh. I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate, grisly age. Oh, hello there. <laughs> to help you cross over all your sins will be forgiven next slide why is he taking a head though I don't get it but he's a crazy guy from the fires isn't it a different kind of war And this is a bug sprayer. We must have worked at one of these joints. Guess we gotta find out which one. Uh, so we've got three new places. Where the hell are we? And arson suspect, uh, suspect a new person of interest. And let's, uh, let's fast travel. Wait a minute. This car looks better! We don't need a police radio, so we can take whichever bloody car. Oh wait, we were gonna fast travel, weren't we? Set location... Leave the car and enter... And here we are at Rapid Exterminators. With our stolen car. <laughs> borrowed, yes, borrowed, not stolen. Help you? How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. <laughs> Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a newspaper. Oh. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my uh, case. fuck you. Shut your fucking Ooh. mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Oh. Hey, detective. Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. Time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet. <laughs> Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund along That's with a muffle. the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. Ooh. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! Oh, he's pissed! You finally lost it, partner. 
I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. Nice. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. <laughs> Thanks, Herschel. <laughs> nice. Oh, I wish I could afford that. Okay, so that's probably all we got from here. And we're nearly dead, 12 out of 13. I, I don't think we're gonna get all 13. This car will do to get out of here. We arrive in one, we live on another. Just covering our tracks. Oh wait, we need to set location. Los Angeles directory. We could go. Wait, didn't last time we have the triangle option actually? I was just realizing now when we left the car. But now it didn't give us the option. Anyway, we're here. Okay. So this is the second place. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny <laughs> side. Thanks for your help. Alright, he's not pushing that guy. Well, it should be just... Check if there's anything here. Uh, Flit. Doesn't look like it's got much for us to investigate, to be fair. Yep. So I guess it's gonna be the last place that we're gonna... Set location! So this time we actually go... Before for we set location before so that we can fast travel straight away. Oh, well, it's not fast travel, it's skip travel. Westlake Pass Control. You should definitely get some bandages though. Walking around all day. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah, he lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. <laughs> right. Dr. Fontaine says we're yesterday, 6 p.m. Uh, okay. I see. And they took Elsa. Fontaine is dead. You made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Alright. Let's see what we find. Now that we actually are in his house and we can move around. Instead of just cutscenes as it's been all the way throughout. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Let um... Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. And so, yeah. Liability. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. And the doctor lost control. Oh, nothing there.
Dun, dun, map. The doctor has been marking this map. Now we're gonna use our uh, secret technique. Even have to. Oh yeah, there's probably some writing there. Yeah, okay. Oh come on, game. Edward Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? I'm guessing we're not getting a reply to that then. That one. New houses all being built on the path of the freeway? Freeway route. New clue. Okay. Is there anything else here that we can do? Newspaper? Wait, this will be the last newspaper! Yay! That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses! Keep your voice down, Luther. Control is part of the essence. Keep your voice down! You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! <laughs> we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. Speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development of Norman of the Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Kelso works for Vince. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of you, Kelso. Really? We'll see. Thirteen out of thirteen? We don't get a trophy for that? Really? Fuck! Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Doctor. Indeed. I've heard that story somewhere before. Was the light there? I didn't see a light in his hand when he died. Or when you know when we had the cutscene and shit. This would have been the guy that left it there. Okay, what else have we got? Broken glass, okay. We have been here already. Something else there? Maybe outside? Well, that was a waste of a few minutes walking around. Let's go. Back door. We're missing something. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that doesn't seem relevant. Probably. Yep. 
Let's head off for the other side. What are we missing? Been in this house for way too long. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what he hit it with. How did I miss that? Not just miss it, completely forgot about it. So much for your foresight. Crystal ball. I need one of those. But one that actually works. It's got magical powers and shit. I don't really want to use the clothes. You know what you're no, I fucking don't. No fucking idea. All I know is I haven't discovered all the clues. I'm gonna have to use the freaking intuition. Been in this house for freaking 20 minutes. What do you mean over here? What's over here? I've already been here. It's not that. We know that. That? Oh, fuck. Really? Morphine. How many times did we walk past this place? Five? Six? Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last... <laughs> well, yeah. Fuck him for stashing it there. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. <laughs> How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Yeah, okay. God, that was a long one. Jesus. Ranch bunkhouse today, 7 p.m. This is Kelso... Yeah. This is the sound we used to have in a war. Okay. Um, we'll continue from here on the next video, hopefully. Uh, thank you all for watching. This was a long, fo long footage, so probably some issues with the footage. Sorry about that. Thank you all. See you in the next one.